additional material from Aidan Fitzmaurice and Katie Storm. Are you Helen? Um, sandbags, no, not sandbags, and that's Stubland. Right, oh. Castle, and we've been on a, ooh, a Harry Potter train. I think it's called the Eddystone steam train, as you would, because it's springtime in England. This is where we do things like 
ride old trains and commune with nature. We're doing a lot of communing with nature in uh, the present series of videos. Yes, I've seen the waiting room. We're, we're, oh, the ladies raid waiting room. <coughs> oh, no, I haven't seen the ladies no, waiting room. So you can just poke your head Oh, I'm going to look at the ladies' waiting room. The ladies' waiting room. The toilet's it's rather worth going high. for oh. a proper 1950s yeah. experience. Here. Oh, well. I'll choose that on the way back. <laughs> yes. Including a bit of mental sign of the Please adjust your dress before leaving. Oh, right. And do not spit. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've missed missed out there. Uh, I'm, I'll I'll take the the camera into the ladies' toilets and and uh, uh, with all these children there and see what happens. <laughs> I think thinking there was was a time when that would have been considered normal. <laughs> but it would have been a, a a Kodak camera though. We've moved on since then. Oh God. Well, I think we have. I'm not quite sure. Actually, a train's worth there. Yeah. Quite exciting, I would think, for them. Is that generate another generation? Yeah. So poor, our generation. <laughs> 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 now that was. You went to Russia, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. With that's school. with the school trip to Russia. And to Turkey. Good God. Yeah. To do things by halves. They wouldn't let me go. <laughs> they, they had to let the beautiful boy go. Yeah, that's right. I, was, I, was, I had to stay. <laughs> they couldn't afford both, so it had to be the boy. Yeah. yeah. Well, they didn't go in my day, I don't think. Into the last month, don't you? Oh, right. Uh, Edward the Martyr. Oh, that's the one you were talking about. It was Edmund. Edward. Edward. Uh, oh, it was yeah. talking about Edgar. Yeah. The other one. This was Edward. Edward. He, he... I can't look at you, yes. <laughs> By the Italians that he brought in to to build them for him. When you when Where was I? Oh yes, yes. It was the martyr in the 10th century, something like 978. Uh, got uh, killed here by his stepmother, Elfreda. I think that was her name. Anyway, she was the mother of Ethelred the Unready. He got a bad reputation, but it was king forever, ages. And uh, did rather well against the uh, Vikings for a number of occasions. But they ended up paying off a lot of them because whatever he did, the other Saxons would not turn up at the right moment and so on and so forth. So, an unready meant uh, badly advised. So, it was a man on his own most of the time. So, that was. <laughs> That was his problem. Yes, I'm just restoring the reputation of Ethelred the Unready because uh, he was king for about 30 odd years, so he survived a lot, a lot longer than most. And uh, his main problem was that the other Saxons just didn't want to fight when he wanted them to fight. So he kept just dipping into the coffers and paying off the Vikings. Why this castle was used in use for a thousand years of all things of all times eventually be turned into a uh, stately home a rather
glamorous stately home like that, uh, with a lot of sort of medieval fantasies about um, courtly love and and knights and shining armour. I should say, yes, the Elizabethans had the medieval fantasies. Uh, the reality of medieval times was very different, but uh, they did like this uh, this idea, and this place was perfect for setting up as a, a sort of a stately holiday home in the Elizabethan period. It was all made into a, a party town by a guy called Hatton. It was a little bit, um, well, on the sort of a thin side of things. And uh, through quite a lot of rather camp parties here. But as you can see, it's a real castle. <laughs> 